How's everybody doing today? Let's get to some monster catfishing. We are in the Sabine River looking for some monster flathead catfishing. Hopefully I can find a spot with some big old blues. But so far flathead and channel cats have been very productive in the river. Look at some low without. I got a spinning rod set up with 30 pound braid, Texas rig, quarter ounce, five out hook, sunfish, this is an eight ounce purple shad, and I got two booty shakers. I got the eight inch and the five inch. Brown purple flash, another catfish. So let's go ahead and put a Texas rig on this one. Pretty shallow right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the eight ounce, five ounce, five hot hook. And we're gonna put a different color brim on it, so let's go with this gill spec. This purple one, this one, the natural black kind of looking one, it works great at nighttime. Purple one right now. I'm gonna go switch this to 30 pound per eight. Setting the catfish are active. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Here we 
There we go. Oh, fish on! Fish on! That was a big old flathead, the first cast. Well, now, tighten up the old drag. You don't look as big as I originally thought, but it'll do. Good way to start the old fishing trip. Come on, big boy. Get in the boat. It's not nearly as big as I originally thought, but good way to start out. Good way to start out. Come on, come on. This little canal right here is well worth the boat ride to get to. It is full of catfish, it has plenty of bass, multiple species. And fishing in the main part of the river, hitting up all the little. There we go. 28. 14 caught them on the natural dark bluegill. Not bad at all. Good way to start out with a first cast and once the flat heads are ready. Let's see what else I want. Let's make one more cast. I'll show you where I'm at on the map. Let's talk about some of the spots I've been fishing. into bushes. He casts just like me in real life. Let's take a look at the map. You can see where I'm at. So if you start at the boat launch and kind of come south, every little junction where the small bayous dump into the main part of the river, those are great spots for largemouth bass as well as catfish. So there's channel cats, blue cats, and big old flathead. So earlier this morning I caught a 80 something pound flathead right near the boat launch when that first little canal comes out to the right so even in real life these are the spots i look at to fish so anytime you have a main river or you have a small river and there's a small bayou or canal that dumps out fish hang out right there especially predators so oh fish on fish on that was a flathead I was saying if you don't have any fishing experience or real life, that is great. I'm so glad you're playing fishing video games. This is a great video game to kind of get you introduced to fishing. There is real world expertise needed. Kind of. There are some things in the game I think will probably only work in a video game, but I do think the more I play this, I think they've taken into consideration some of the real world experiences in fishing. For example, when you're in the main river and they have those small canals that dump out, those little junction spots are a great place to fish in real life, but also in the video games. So you must have considered that when they develop the game. So when I'm fishing in real life and I'm in a small river and they have a little ditch or canal or bayou that dumps out into it, especially after rain, the baits, the worms, all the critters are washing out. You're getting dumped out and the fish just wait for them right there. It's like a free meal. They don't have to hunt them. They just wait there and let them come to them. I'm pretty sure after fishing some of these rivers, the dovetail has taken that into consideration. I see catfish and they're kind of just hanging around. 
around. They don't move at all. Like I'll throw everything at them and they just don't want to move. So I much rather prefer to see them swimming and being a little more active. Like this little guy right here. So now there is times where I'm throwing a bluegill or the booty shaker some worms they just don't move at all change the color of the bluegill so switch to a different type same rig get it right in front of their face again bam a lot of times that does the trick so maybe today they just don't want that purple bluegill they want a black one that is fishing in real life so let's see if we can get on one i should probably reset the clock to seven so we some daylight you can see in the water a little bit better. But the catfish are pretty active in nighttime, but in morning time, it's great. So, cat's on. He came back for it. He decided he was hungry after all. Not too big, but channel cats are the smallest of the three, so they don't get nearly as big as the blue or the body cat. Still look deep in a decent size. I don't think he'll make a trophy weight but... How's my video look, G Man? Here he comes. Coming in. There we go. That is a nice one. 25.9 ounces. All right, not too bad at all. So if you take a look, the blue catfish trophy weights 80 pounds to 98.5. So anything bigger than that is a legendary. The channel catfish trophy weight needs to be 27. So he was a uh, maybe a pound and a half off. Flathead trophy weight 75. So I did catch one this morning before I started streaming that was over 80 pounds. So very, very nice. I know there's plenty more out here to be caught. fishing tournament Try to get those large mouth those spotted bass in the boats gar or something like that bites during the tournament I just don't set the hook don't do anything and hopefully they're released but sometimes you get a poor strike anyway so I just crank up the drag try to reel them in as quickly as possible because time is crucial during a bass tournament so if I get them in great don't get them in and then break the line, that's even better, so I'll just get back to fishing. All 
right in the bushes again. All right, I'm about to switch. We need range casts. I may be sitting right on top of them. Maybe I can get this one all the way in. Right in the bushes again. Retrieve, steady retrieve. There we go. There we go. He's about to bite. Oh, oh, he's psyching me out. Maybe I should have kept retrieving. I think I'm too close to him. They're like right under. So there are some areas that are roped off, they have buoys. Can't pass those buoys, and I really wish you could because there are some canals, and I hate when they have the buoys right by the bridges because bridges are excellent places to fish in real life. with this bait and I'm going to switch it out to something else.
Oh, garfish. So I was kind of disappointed that only Long Nose Gar in the game. The Sabine River, Toledo Bend has some monster alligator gar. Why are those not in this game? So I may have to contact the old dovetail and see what I have to say. Another thing I really like to see, maybe when they release a new map, is some brackish water. So along the Gulf Coast, you got Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, even in Florida, they have brackish water. So freshwater species and speckled trout sometimes, redfish, sheep's head, they're all mixed in. So I really would like to see a map like that. You can have some brackish water, or we can have some bass, some marsh bass. There's plenty of marsh bass in the marsh in Louisiana where you can also catch redfish. Now those bass do not get nearly as big as they do in fresh water, but they get little chunky monkeys. So I'd love to catch some bass, some redfish, and some alligator garfish on the same map, so that would be great. Bow fishing would also be great. Any games that have bow fishing. Maybe there's one out there on PC. I don't see any on Xbox. There's a little flat head. It's not too big. There's so many bass in here. I mean, look at that. I'm going to have to put out my little one knocker. Fish on. I think it's near as big as some other ones. That's why it's not just a little bit of a fish. You see him swimming down there sometimes. I love to have a fish fish in this game. It's going to be a big old gator tail with some headlights all around the front. Rocks up some bow fishing action. not bad. I don't think he's anywhere near a trophy weight. But... What you think, Gianni? You want to see some bow fishing? Yeah. 35 pounds, 12 ounces. Put him on the purple shad. Let's try out the old booty shaker. Booty shaker, booty shaker. So there is two types of booty shakers in the game. So they have the five inch and the eight inch. So I'll throw both of them. So I do have both of them ready to go right now. So. Oh my God. He just tricked me. I thought for sure he was going to bottom of his phone. What 
what you guys think about some wildlife just you know walking around the edges maybe some deer some birds some alligator some bathing and that's what you see when you go fishing so if you want to see it in the video game just for attraction to kind of add to the scenery spot is not paying off. Move. <clears throat> so catching some more fish right here. We're going to move locations. That's what happens when you take your friends to your favorite fishing spot. You know, catch anything. swimming around in here but they're not biting so maybe change up the old color let's do that so sunfish Catch a few bass and then go back to the boat land and hit up some other spots. Black crappie, black crappie, black sockele. Depending on where you're from, there's a different name for it. South Louisiana, we call them Sakale. Other parts of the country, they're crappie, crappie, perch. That little tiny fish was straining my hook. Oh, come on. Big fish, big fish, and no whammies. Yeah, so 
trophy largemouth bass and Sabine are not as big as they are in some of the other lakes. Seven pound bass in a tournament in the Sabine River. If you like that, and you are sitting pretty high on the weighing scale. So. Fish on. I'm glad I got to caught a catch a couple of bass right here in this tournament because it seems that bass really like to bite, especially the first you know 30 seconds. You gotta keep my drag lower, otherwise you risk losing the good a good fish but then you have a 50 pound catfish I keep my drive closer to 25 to 30 no problem at all yes what a finned freak of nature a couple of nice seven pounders Large mount trophies in Sabine River are five pounds to eight pounds, so not nearly as big as not, not as big as Lake Guntersville, but I've been swamp, so we got some big old catfish in here. Catch you four, five, seven pounders in a tournament in Sabine and you're, you're gonna take the podium. Head back to old boat landing. Go fishing. Quickest way to get back to the boat landing. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. Like under the water see what's in there diving crankbaits are a great way to explore the water see what's down there kind of visually see what fish are around
another one of my favorite catfish spots. <laughs> Pretty sure the garfish hit it. Not the big old front of it. I've sat on 33 the entire time. Fish on, fish on, no thing you get to do. Put that drag on 33 on a five ounce bass. So the small garfish pays 434 bass bucks and 70 followers. Sounds like some cranes or something running behind me. Times they stack up right here on this left side. So if they are there, I'm going to reach it in my boat. So I'm going to keep that bait right in front. Oh, fish on! Now that's a big one. At least it looked big while my bait was close on the screen, but we'll see as it gets a little bit closer. Some drag, pull on some drag. Ain't no way he's getting away. Look at that, boy! Woo! Man! 75 pounds, 6 ounces of trophy, trophy flathead capture. So, man, they pay good. So, 7,612 bass bucks, 50 followers. So, 7,600 bass bucks will get you a, a new ride. 
Very nice. Very nice indeed. everybody doing? Thanks for joining in. I'm on the lookout for some blue cat spots in Sabine River, so if you know of any, drop a comment below. Man, I'd love to go check them out. Anything you tell me during the chats or comments on my videos, if I check it out myself, I will give you a shout out on a video if I feature that. So, game's only been out for a little probably what, a week now. Been able to fish Airbird River. Sabine is definitely one of my favorite places. That's a great It also looks like places I fish in the south. I did reset the clock to 7 o'clock that way I can see a little bit better in the water. Call the wild, there's X amount of, let's say, white-tailed deer on the map. Let's say there's a hundred of them. So every time you harvest a white-tailed deer, the game will respawn another one. So in the hunter call the wild, as you respawn, it's kind of like a roll of dice. So eventually you'll get one that's max weight and he'll be a diamond. So kind of like a legendary fish in this game. And they are just stacked up right here. So I'm kind of wondering if this game has some type of respawn rate. That would be a great question to ask the dev. So as you harvest fish, it's like you just cost a couple of flatheads. So will they respawn two more flatheads? And will one of them be within that trophy range or higher? And maybe the little one will respawn another little one? The fish never stop coming, so there's always fish to be caught in. I'm just kind of wondering how the respawn works in this game. What's going on with my camera? Okay, look at that. It's like a bunch of little baby catfishes stacked up. Oh, he thought he was going to bite it. I did, too. Put some old booty shaking in front of them boys and see what they want to bite it. Sometimes I throw that old five inch booty shaker and they don't want nothing to do with it and I just switch to the eight inch and BAM! They were just waiting for that bigger mill to come around.
fish a lot of times stack up right here in this spot. Sometimes they're in the middle, kind of where the buoys are. St. John's River. So sometimes in my mind, I get St. John's and St. Lawrence River confused, but St. John's River has a big old bridge to the left. I'm pretty sure. But well, you know what? I hate that river. I hate St. John's River. That is my arch enemy right there. So there are some big cats in there. Nothing to do my bigger booty shaker. I've had a horrible time fishing St. John's River. Squeak by in some tournaments. But it's, I guess I just need to go there and fish a lot more. But I don't get excited when it comes to St. John's River. I did the tournaments and I did what I had to do to get on the podium. and But it was tough. I mean, there was some of those tournaments I did in St. John's River. I did the my fish finder is just on fire. Like there's fish all over my fish finder, but in my underwater camera, I see zero silch in St. John River. So come on, boys. I mean, look at that. Look at all those catfish. None of y'all want my little worm. hard time catching a St. John's River too. I think what finally got me past some of the tournaments in St. John's River, so I will say this, if the boat landing was on the opposite side of the map, I probably would fish St. John's more, because some of the spots I have a little bit of better luck with were all the way on the other side of the map. But that's not something I want to do during a tournament. I don't want to spend five minutes of my time running all the way to the other side of the map. So I just kind of shrug my way around different spots in the river, just catching enough fish to get past the tournament. No problem, man. Now look, if you find a spot in St. John's, let me know. Come back to one of my videos, drop a comment have to go check it out myself because I will have to go back there eventually. I am calm taking a break for some of the tournaments. Work my way up to the Elite Series and I have a few more tournaments. It takes time because on the Elite you have three days so I mean, that's an hour and a half of actual real fishing. But I'm looking forward to the next ones because they are uh, Toledo Bend, Lake Guntonville, so favorite spots. I want to be quite well on some of those. So I think I recently fished a tournament in Lake Chick, which is I just murder the name if I try to pronounce Chickamauga. Chickamauga. Lake Chick. It has some deep water, some great locations. Right when you leave the boat landing, there's a large concrete ramp that goes into the water. I mean, it's right by the start of the game. You can park your boat right there and fish the entire tournament and just rack up. I mean, I did so good on the elite tournament. I spent the last 10 minutes or more of each day of fishing trying to find catfish. Because <laughs> I had 40 something pounds on my first day and the nearest person had 22. So every day was like that, just catching big old largemouth bass right there. But I kept seeing catfish in there, so I switched over to my catfish rig once I had a clear lead each day. There was no way they were catching me. They look like they want to bite it, but they're just not committing to it. And that's a thick channel cat right there. All right. Look like they want to bite it, but they're not committed to it. So the blue cat's booty shaker, purple flash, it just doesn't always seem to work with the purple flash. Let's change the color. Now these shads do work for catfish. So Andy says it can't, can't unlock gear. 
great question. That's a known issue too. So some of my mastery things are not working, especially in Sabine. So there are certain things in Sabine I definitely know I've accomplished, but they don't unlock. What was strange is when I first started fishing some of the mastery settings in Sabine, let's take a look at it because it has not changed at all in Sabine. Where is Sabine? Did I pass it up? Sabine River. All right, so on the sideline, catch six fish following a side cast and a good or perfect strike. So when I first time I fished Sabine, I was like, okay, that should be easy enough. Catch four fish weighing under five pounds. Easy enough. But as you can see, I haven't accomplished any of them. I definitely did the side cast. Got some perfect strikes. Did it a few times. I came back and I looked and it said four of six. I was like, great. I'm almost there. Almost got it. I kept on doing it and it never increased and it just doesn't work. So that's a known issue as well as the gear. So some of the gear just doesn't unlock. And as you can see, I'm wearing my Lake Guntersville cap. My Lake Guntersville shirt. That did work. But I mean, that was just the luck of that day. <laughs> so I'm very happy that my sponsors actually worked the day I decided to pull the trigger on a new boat because I was ready to spend 100,000 bass bucks on a new boat so I can go faster and have more slots and then when I went to look at the boats got one for free so my sponsorship was actually working that day oh i thought for sure he was gonna bite it come on i mean y'all are just right there just take a bite one of y'all gotta be hungry oh there we go fish on fish on there's some nice fish in there they look like they got a couple nice channel cats and some nice flatheads so we did catch an 80 something pounder flathead this morning Still looking for a spot with some big monster blue cats. What's up, Hunter? Yes, I'm using the Texas Ray with the five nine hook with the old blue gill. So I'm going through a bunch of hooks and Texas Ray, Carolina Ray. Texas Ray probably is one of my favorite ones for catfish. Hook size does matter, so this looks like a pretty decent flathead. I don't know if it'll break my personal vest, but... There's got to be a spot in Sabine with some big blue cats. I've been searching. Little cuts with little canals. The exits. Maybe they're right in the middle of the river. So I did try fishing by that weird bridge that's near the start of the game. And there's a bunch of weird stuff on my fish finder right there. So I'm not sure if y'all see that or not. But when I'm trolling around right there, it's deep, it's shallow. It's like a bunch of holes. Maybe they're holes from when the bridge collapsed. Here we go. Bam! That's a nice one. 75 pounds, 6 ounces. And I'm on the gill, natural dark blue gill. Not bad at all, so I'll take that. They pay good, but it takes a lot to get money in this game. But after a while, it becomes quite easier. So, 30 pound braids. Texas rig, one quarter ounce with a five odd hook. I do just switch between the shad and the sunfish. Sometimes I put it right in front of them. Didn't want to bite it. Change colors. So try a different colored shad, try the purple shad. Right in the bushes. I swear to God, I must be fishing with my wife right now. I did 
get contacted by Dovetail. If you go to Dovetail's site for the Dovetail Fishing and look at some of the current news, they have one of my videos posted in their chat in their, on their news page. Which after I went back and watched the video, I noticed there's some like background noise that's not sure where it came from. So, but at least my video got posted on the publisher's website. So when they did contact me, I asked them about the fish finder because I really just tried to figure out myself how the fish finder works, what direction it's pointing. Is it in the front of the boat? Is it in the back of the boat? Is it right under the boat? Which direction is right and left? So they did give me an answer, fish on, fish on, but it still wasn't a clear answer so maybe they'll better describe that in one of their videos but from what Dovetail told me fish finder is directly below the boat in a cone so the right side of your fish finder is the right side of the boat so passing under your boat will pass from right to left but the screen always the fish always go from the right side to the left side so in my opinion it's just not a great fish finder this day and age, there's plenty of technology in the fish finder market. Because it, uh, you know, starting a boat, it's fine. You put that old cheap fish finder in there, but you're paying 85,000, 100,000 bass bucks, whatever it is, for a new boat. Why can't we get a side scan, 3D imaging fish finder? Something like that, right? That would be great get some real life fish finders in the game does it have to be a main brand I mean just take the technology that they offer from the real life fish finders you don't have to put Lawrence fish finder on there or just put it in the game man this little simple 1970 looking fish finder you're just not cutting it All right, gotta get some of these big boys to bite trophy they don't pay you very much now in the total length tournament a 49 inch scarfish will rack up some total length so you can really rack up some numbers in those total length tournaments so scarfish and some freshwater drum which are both easier to pull in but they're long and skinny total length tournaments you can rack up some high numbers trying to get over a thousand inches the other day in the old Toledo Bend tournament. I didn't quite get there, caught too many small fish. I mean, everything was biting my little diving crankbait. But I caught plenty of, of garfish and plenty of bass and freshwater drum to just rack up some numbers. We got almost 900 inches up in that tournament, so that was pretty good. One spot, never moved the boat the entire time. of the sunfish. I need to throw that little purple flash worm out there and get that sun down. So the old blue, okay, booty shot.
always seem to miss stack up in this corner. What they do get in the middle of the little canal by the buoys. I wish you can pass those buoys and get back into some of that other area right there because it looks like some great areas. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, that looked like a nice flathead. We'll see. Uh, their camera's really close, they look big, but they hit the surface of the water, they're not that big. Not bad, but I don't think he's anywhere here to focus on. He's got the old... Increase my drag. Come on, big boy. Bad 47 pounds, but he is not a trophy. Yeah, Jack, the mastery challenges. I'm on Xbox X series. They don't work. Sometimes the mastery. Sometimes the sponsors work or don't work, and they're working on it, so they all are aware of those issues. Hopefully they fix it soon, because I know I've completed a bunch of challenges. And I'm getting credit for it. And the gear, this gear that it says I'm unlocked, but I mean, they don't show up in my list. Little baby catfish, five pounds. So I am wearing my Lake Comfortable jersey and hat. And I should have unlocked some other gear from other lakes. But when I go to change my character around, they're not there. So I don't even see my Lake Comfortable shirt in the list now. So I don't know what's up with that. So why is there a buoy there? So the buoys kind of mark off the end of where you can go and travel in some of the lakes and like you can't get past some of the bridges. Like in St. John's, for example, there's a buoys right by the bridge. Why is it there? I mean, why not just put land right there and end it? Maybe in the future that will be unlocked and it'll be like a new area to add to the map. Oh, I thought he was going to bite it. What is that? Oh, he was chasing. He was thinking about it. Some don't, so we'll see what these boys like. Oh, a little flathead, he grabbed it. Sometimes it's hard to 
tell how big they are when it's under water. The camera gets really close sometimes and it looks bigger. Especially it fools me if I don't see a big fish for a while and I think they're big but they're not. I actually see a big fish. Oh, look how big it is! Five pounds! And you got a eight inch booty shaker in his mouth. Alright, we said I was gonna throw the worm earlier, I never did, so let's go try it now. Bassmaster is 2022 came out with eight maps. What other maps and locations would y'all like to see? I would love to see some brackish water fishing. Something with a little bit of saltwater species and a little bit of freshwater species mixed in together. The guys like Raku that don't fish, brackish water is I don't like the areas where the salt water mixes with the fresh water. So you know, south along the Gulf Coast, Texas and Louisiana, there's a bunch of locations where the rivers and streams go out to kind of meet the Gulf. And those areas have what we call brackish water. So I'm by a lake here in south Louisiana, brackish. So they'll have catfish, but they'll also have speckled trout and redfish which I love to see in this game. These catfish is chilling out down here. So maybe I'm not working the brown purple flies as expected by somebody in the middle of this game but sometimes it works great and sometimes it does nothing. I'm really surprised it's not put any carp in this game, but don't they have another game that Dovetail makes just for carp? Stop, they just want to bite it because they do bite it on the fall, but sometimes they stop, they stop chasing it. They want to constantly retreat. This depends on the nuts fishing, so I think I'm going to let this one drop and then just constantly retrieve it in the whole time and don't stop it until I get a bite. Maybe they're just taking a look at your bait and they don't like the color or something of it. Stop chasing it, but sometimes they chase it and just stop. You know? Sometimes they're chasing it and they can't catch up, so I'll stop it and let them bite it. And that works sometimes. Behind 
the catfish. questions let me know if I don't know if something with Bassmasters I'll try to figure it out and let you know if you got any tips for me let me know where's the big monster blue catfish that is what I want to know got this boat for free with the skin for free because that day the sponsors worked <laughs> the next day I think when I went back all the boats were full price again so I think I picked this one there is one boat that goes 75 the rest kind of goes 70 this one only goes 70 miles per hour but it has more slots come to find out it doesn't matter because those slots don't work anyway so we only keep eight eight rods in my lineup so if you do more than eight nine ten eleven twelve they don't work so if you have nine or ten rods pick number ten it actually picks number two on this page pick number nine it picks number one on this page so it's another issue that they'll have to work out so we really would like to have more than eight rods in the boat with me This morning I caught an 80 something pound flathead catfish. That's my biggest one so far. Now the blue catfish get bigger but haven't been able to find too many of those in Sabine River. So 81 pounds, one ounce and that was today. And I think I did catch them on the... to hear from some of you guys where y'all from any of these venues that you fished in real life because I have been to the Sabine River and 
this is very accurate what it looks like. So there's a lot of small backwater canals, and docks and construction zones, barges all over the place. So I'm sure they base off these lakes and rivers to real life locations, but yeah, there's plenty of places just like this on Sabine River. Toledo Bend, I've been to Toledo Bend a bunch of times in my life. I've been swimming in Toledo, been fishing in Toledo, scuba diving in Toledo. It is deep, man. It has some deep cold water. It has some great fishing. It has some of the best bass fishing, but also crappie. So in Louisiana, we call them sockele. It has some deep water sockele holes that are just incredible. You can sit there for hours and just fill up your ice chest with fish. Thanks for watching, Ronnie. How's the world weather up in Canada?
fish I am. Just a little guy. I guess these are supposed to be cypress trees and cypress trees sticking up out of the water. It's not a great example of what you're looking for. Life, but it is a video game, so. Small cat, 14 pounds, not big at all. So I was actually surprised when I caught that 81 pounder. He didn't look like he was an 81 pounder in the water. Now, the first time he broke the surface, I was like, oh my god, that is like a whale, man. So maybe they just look big when the camera's right in front of them. He was hungry, but he was a little one. What? What? What's going on? Okay, I don't know what happened. <laughs> that was funny. I think he just spit out my lure. And I've had some trouble when I was doing one of the tournaments in Toledo. It was like a real end, but it just my mind wasn't moving at all. But that was just weird. such a small type area you can't cast very far and you would think these big old monster catfish that are weigh 60, 70, 80 pounds would be out in the deep of water 30, 40 feet down and they are down there, especially like in Toledo Bend, but Plenty of times these little backwater canals will hold large amounts of fish even in real life. I've been duck hunting down some little small canals and next thing I know I'll look up and there's 50, 60 pound catfish swimming right next to me. You see them, the water's only like three feet deep, you know. I've also seen very large alligator guard fish. Had one small alec. Well, we we're in a small canoe, two-person canoe. Me and my wife were doing a little small fishing trip in some backwater swamp area. A garfish pulled up next to the canoe, and my wife was totally freaked out. The boat's too small. The boat's too small. A five, six-foot garfish pulls up next to you. Kind of like the old jaws. Boat's too small. Sometimes when I see, especially catfish, when they're not moving at all, like no matter what I throw at them, they just will not bite. This might be a good place for the worm. to drop a comment with your favorite lure that you like to use for catfish. There we go. Number 
looks like a better one. I don't know if it's a flash. Maybe I'm wrong. Just zoomed in on the camera too much. like that really hard to catch Big booty shaker. One pound is eight ounces on the red hair sunfish. So not even close to a big trophy. There's something bigger sitting on the bottom. Make a few more casts and I'll probably call it a day. Got some work I need to do. Got my honey to do list I need to take care of.
kind of slow switch in your long range to medium range to short range casting. Medium range cast always goes to the left where I think it's going to go. So I started pulling a little bit more to the right to get it where I want it to go. Bit. I saw a big flathead on the screen, but I'm not sure where I actually bit it. Come on, a little bit more. Oh, it's right in the hood. Oh, he is definitely a colorful little spot. Nice. Come on, all the way in. Nice and easy. Bam! Look at that, boys. Check that out, G. 71 pounds, so just missed being a trophy, but still great for the big Friday catfish show. Take a screenshot of that. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go ahead and drop off. I do have a catfish and tips and trick video coming out Sunday. So look forward to y'all comments. As always, keep on fishing, and I'll see you next time.